One East Texas veteran says she was fired from her job after two years of being on that job. The reason why? Shocking. KTK's Trent Bennett right now explains this woman's hardship. Yeah. For veteran Jennifer Willis, she's no stranger to service, having spent two years in the United States Army. In 2014 to 2016. But today she suffers from PTSD, and this three year old German Shepherd never leaves her side. This is Ace. He helps me, one, with my flashbacks that I have. Um, also with anxiety attacks. But her employer, Mr. Cooper Mortgage in Longview, said no dog or no job. I didn't want to leave. I worked so hard at that company, and them to tell me that I would be not allowed to have him was very disappointing. Hi, thanks for calling Mr. Cooper, your home loan company. And that's as far as we got, apart from an email for our inquiry. She was given this letter that basically reads from her company that. She can't bring her dog to work under any circumstances. And two weeks later, after she started pressing them and asking for them to consider, she got this letter that says she can bring her dog to work, but under their exceptions. Language that reads, we reserve the right to your information from your health care provider and that ACE wear a service vest. So just trying to find some reason why they denied her to do this, and I, I, I can't find it. That's attorney Ralph Pelea's response. Who's taken on Willis's case, and he says their request is a violation of the Americans with Disabilities Act. To me, she has a problem. She has an animal to help her. What's the big deal? Monty Hudson has helped veterans with PTSD for 30 years, one of those being Willis, and he trained the canine. Ace has passed every test I have ever given him. Um, that's a phenomenal, that's a natural dog. As this legal fight rages on, Willis says she just couldn't continue work without the animal. She relies so heavily on Trent Bennett's KETK News. After the break tonight, five.